coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we go Texas style when a Texas Ranger seeks revenge in the episode El Viejo. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from November 3rd to November 9th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 6th, President Reagan signs the Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986. The landmark legislation enacted stricter laws for companies hiring undocumented workers. The bipartisan bill also granted amnesty to over 3 million immigrants in the U.S. The success of the bill is still debated and a topic of many current discussions for immigration reform. In music, replacing Cyndi Lauper at the top of the Hot 100 is a power ballad Amanda from the band Boston. From their third album, it is a rare example of a song that reached number one in the MTV generation without a music video. The song was recorded several years before the album was released and is the only song from the band to reach the top of the Hot 100. In movies, would you be shocked if I told you that Crocodile Dundee is still dominating theaters? Of course not. I'd like to go back and cover a movie I missed from the summer, and is one of the most important movies of the 1980s. On August 8th, the Transformers, the movie, landed in ruined childhoods for millions of kids. The movie had an all-star cast, a revamped theme song, and performed well in theaters. My entire house, where names like Stan Bush and Peter Cullen are frequently discussed, we absolutely adore the original Transformers TV show, which is why this movie is so sad. In a huge twist, the movie kills one of the most loved characters in all of TV and Optimus Prime and replaces him with the chump Hot Rod, aka Rodimus Prime. I still cry when I see the final spark of life leave Optimus Prime and remember how mad I was when I left the theater that day. And use the power of the Matrix to light our darkest hour. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, go with the heat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.